right, here we go. Day two, uh, Formula Drift, round four, New Jersey. Got my new suit in from OMP. Finally, there were some, uh, you know, delays, just like there is with, with everything else that you're trying to buy right now. So, really happy, suit looks really good. Super pumped. And uh, now we're about to go hit practice, so let's get it. All right, just got lined up for practice. They've done this new thing for practice now where you can only leave your pits five minutes before the time for practice to start. So it's like waiting for that five minute thing to click and then it's just a mad rush to the start line. So it's like almost as competitive to get to the start line of practice as it is when it gets on track now. It's pretty wild, so uh, pretty funny. Next, basically I'm gonna start working on just trying to put some more grip in the car, more speed in the car. We made a toe adjustment, uh, a couple adjustments on the yellow speed coilovers, and now, uh, you know, just see what we got. I'm, I'm pretty excited and pretty optimistic, and uh, we're gonna start working on some tandems. I'm I have four laps, left in, four laps left, I should say, in practice. I'm probably gonna do two leads and two chases if things go well, and be ready for qualifying here shortly. Pull hole, comp cams, look at all yellow speed racing Chevy Corvettes. Again, pick up your lean customs pin of this new build of full pole Taylor Hole. Coming to this first outside zone. Looks like right in the middle of portion of that. Now that second outside zone, you see a little disruption, but places the car properly. The attitude of the car, throwing some more angle at it. Let's see what kind of transition we got here from Taylor Hole. You see that snapping and throw it in. Unfortunately, the car grips up, takes them a little bit outside of that final zone. Yeah, threading the needle up till that point, doing a pretty good job of staying in the zones, but that last one, he pulls off quite a bit early. You can see here, still seeing some drivers come off that first outside zone a bit early. I think Taylor did a better job there than what we've seen for the past few runs. And on this second outside zone, really working the car to stay as deep as he possibly can. But right here, as he transitions back around, bit too much angle relative to the forward momentum is not able to fill that zone completely comes off a bit early let's take a look at it here from the middle of outside zone two pretty stable there as you said puts a little bit more angle in the car to get through that inside clip just knocks it over and then right here you can see plants the car but stays on the inside of of the outside zone so we'll definitely see a little bit of a deduction there in that sector and Top 32 of pro. So a 77 for Taylor Hole. All right. Just finished up here for Friday. Other than autograph session, we got to do that still. Uh, I think I ended up qualifying like 27th, which barely kept us out of the not so great eight. Super disappointed in my driving today. Honestly, kind of as a whole. Um, had a couple okay practice laps, but overall, yesterday was way better. Um, kind of shook my confidence going into qualifying, if I'm being honest. And um, yeah, just didn't do well. Transitioned way too early coming into outer three and poured on too much angle and totally missed the zone. So the first, the first two thirds of the lap looked pretty decent and then just messed up coming into outer three. And you can't do that. You're driving against the best guys in the world here that do this. and. Uh, we didn't do our part, driver didn't do his part today. So kind of go back, review some videos and uh, just go back to doing what I was doing yesterday for tomorrow. So in the show, um, I haven't looked to see who I'm going up against yet. I think it might be Justin Pollock, but um, you gotta verify that. So if it is, I've run against Justin several times. It should be a lot of fun, but um, yeah, let's go do the autograph session. Maybe uh, show you a couple things we gotta do to the car. All right. so. Uh, just to give some insight on asphalt anarchy in general, uh, it's hurt. We're not sure how hurt. It's been hurt since before we came here, if we're being honest. So uh, we weren't sure if this, how bad it was and if it was going to come apart. But basically, we had a piece of the windage tray break off last round, or we think maybe even in Atlanta. We pulled a little piece of metal, 
out of the oil pan in Atlanta. Changed the oil, changed the filter, everything seemed relatively okay. Um, we had a little bit of a leak, so I pulled the pan and pulled out enough metal to make up, I don't know, golf ball size that uh, is very unsettling when you find that in your oil pan and in your engine. But pulled all that out, changed oil again, put some fresh liquid molly in there, changed the filter. Didn't see anything terribly alarming um, when I changed the filter again, so um, we think it had just kind of rested in the bottom of the pan and stayed there once it got all crunched up. But what it did do when it first came apart is crack the piston, knock a piece of the skirt off, uh, tear up the crank sensor, and gnarl up some of the inside of the block. Now, the block's not hurt, but um, you can see where it kind of rolled around in there. And uh, now we notice some smoke, and I'll show you our spark plug. So, if you know anything about spark plugs, that's bad. Uh, that's definitely not allowing any spark in between there. So, uh, that's where that belongs. And we just put, put another plug in it, and uh, we're just calling this fixed. We rolled it over a couple times. It didn't mash it again. So we're hoping that was causing the smoke and we're just gonna ignore what may have gone through the cylinder and uh, and cause that issue. What do y'all think? Okay. Asphalt Anarchy? Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. We're, uh, we're feeling good about it. Not that good about it, but uh, we need to put our backup engine, which is gonna effectively be our primary engine together with a quickness. All right, so yep. we just did a, you know, 7,000 RPM hit. Uh, how are we feeling? Fixed. I feel like whatever went through it has uh, found its way out the exhaust. It quit smoking, so I mean, everything's, everything's great. Everything's great. Um, Huh. Yeah, if, if this doesn't accurately convey the level of send that we have uh, around Asphalt Anarchy, I'm not sure what does, um, because there's no reason that we should run this engine um, knowing that we've sent something through the number six cylinder and definitely not knowing that the piston, the piston very similar to a piston, but this one's a piston, um, is definitely hurt. So uh, we're going to send it anyway and see what happens. Um, <laughs> if you see us getting towed off track tomorrow, you'll probably know why.